Hello everyone, it's your boy Ultra Gigamite, and I'm here to talk to you about a little device that I'm finding out that a lot of people don't know about right now. Even considering how old it is, it's not really, it's not relatively new. This is like the second iteration of it. And um, it's something that once I experienced it for myself, I really felt like it kind of changed the way I, I view sound in, in general. Now, the device that I'm going to talk about today is a loner from a good friend of mine. Shout outs to AG, Hagabond, or AG Cooler in AC. Uh, yeah, you should check out his content. He has a lot of uh, video visuals that he uh, puts together, um, as well as some producing work. So yeah, you should check out some of his work. Now, this is something that he, in fact, uses to produce work, produce music. It's not necessarily strictly for that. I personally wouldn't be using it for that because I don't make beats, but it can be something that you can use in your leisure time. And it's just, it's just fun. It's just great. It's just, I, I love this thing. I, I keep looking down at this thing. So let me just go ahead and bring it out. What we're talking about today is the sub pack. So you can see it right there, sub pack. It's the M2X, M meaning mobile version. They also have a uh, sitting version that you can uh, just have on the back of your chair and lean back into it and feel the bass, basically. You feel the bass. That's what this thing is for. Um, it's a backpack. This one is a backpack that you can wear and it's pretty slim. It's not, it's not gonna be a bulky thing you can like walk around with this thing and just be feeling bass everywhere you go. Feel like you're in a club almost. Now, um, in order for this thing to work, it's rechargeable, of course. You're gonna need an auxiliary cord. I just have a short auxiliary cord. It's going from it's going from this box right here. It's a few different ports, uh, as well as an adjustment to adjust the intensity. Right now, I got it at about one third, and um, one third of the whole the full uh, distance it can go. And you plug in your aux cord to the uh, line in on the box that is going to be going to your device that you're going to be playing music on. Now I'm not going to say that all music sounds the same on this thing because if you're trying to play maybe country music or gospel, I don't know. I don't know if you're going to have the same experience as I did, but um, it is definitely well suited for me for the type of music that I predominantly listen to. Now this thing should be charged uh, pretty well. Uh, we got our line in, plugged in. Now we just need headphones. I'm gonna use my headphones right here, some Sony headphones. Regular headphones, they, they don't need to be taking on much of the bass load now because that's what the sub pack is for. Plug this into the headphone jack on the box and let's turn this thing on. I'm gonna be playing music from my MacBook and this box comes with a little clip you can I like to clip it onto a uh, the bottom of the strap right here that way it's a little not it doesn't have the cords being pulled on necessarily yeah you can just have it out of the way Got a headset on and let's, let me just put this thing on real quick and of course you want it to fit snug otherwise the base won't transfer into your soul a little magnetic strap right there got it on nice and tight and I'm gonna plug this end into my MacBook let's bring it a little closer Ooh. <laughs> yeah when you plug it in it gives you a little kick in the in the spine all right so let's just Pick one song. You might even be able to hear just how punchy this thing is through the <laughs> through the microphone. Let's see. We'll pick one of my favorite songs to play this thing with. 
and the volume that you have it at will adjust as well uh, will adjust the intensity as well so yeah the baseline just started kicking in started rumbling a little bit so yeah when i'm talking you can uh it'll distort your voice a little bit it sings like a, a <laughs> Back massage mixed in with something that'll show you what's really happening with the bass and whatever song you're listening to. It's crazy. I can't get over this thing. Like every time I listen to something, it feels new and just different. <laughs> but really, you feel this thing a lot when you lean back in your chair. That's the one, that's the one thing that'll really make a difference in your view or listening and feeling experience. Um, <laughs> it's not quite as great when you're just standing straight up and trying to listen to music. But when you listen, when you lean back in a chair, you really feel full force what this thing is capable of. All you EDM heads and bass heads in general, I don't see how you cannot like this thing. basically a subwoofer that you wear on your back I mean I love bass I don't know about you but I love bass and the idea of that just hearing that made me feel like this would be ideal for me if you can hear the power through my mic. <laughs> no, I do not have Parkinson's. started thinking about like possible implementations of this I'm gonna put a system in my car eventually but this this is basically the feeling that I want to feel from my car and putting 215s 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 I got two in the in a car in a trunk or whatever is nice and all for like showing everybody what you got or like putting a, putting on a display for everybody around you. But this is so direct and like puts it right into your chest basically and through your back into your chest. And I mean, that's all I ever really wanted from car audio. So I mean, if I could put one of these in my chair, like in the back of my seat, maybe not one of the mobile ones, but one of the, the, um, the sitting ones, one of the sitting versions, the S2, or maybe even like having this incorporated into the restraint system like as a seat belt or something like that i don't see why that wouldn't be a good option at least for me i <laughs> i think i would love that to be an option a possibility to put in my car maybe i'll do that eventually anyways i don't know now that's not to say that this thing doesn't have its drawbacks i was this close to buying one of this version it's m2x when I went online and looked at a bunch of reviews on these and I just noticed that a lot of complaints were being had about things like the battery just going out after a little while, people's units just not functioning properly after like a month of use. Even this one right now, I don't have it turned up the intensity all the way because I've experienced it a few times with this one where when you turn the intensity up all the way, the volume's up at a decent level, 
it'll start just shutting off randomly while you're playing a song. And I heard, I read a lot of complaints yeah. about that. <laughs> um, other than that, the fact that you like to get the full the full effect of it, it's not it's not necessarily saying that it's a slouch when you're standing up, like just standing upright and listening to music, but if you sit back in this thing on a chair or any surface or whatever, but probably it's, it's gonna be a chair, then you really like get really kicked in the spine and it, it just feels great. Now, as much as you might love bass, other people might not fancy it quite so much. So this might not be the best thing to use in an office setting. For $350 brand new from the, the Subpack website, I'm thinking that I'm probably just gonna wait on the next iteration of this, the next version, and see maybe they've ironed out the kinks and all that kind of stuff. And ordering it from their website, not from Amazon, because they do have this listed on Amazon. Ordering it directly from the website will get you a two-year warranty, which I mean, I don't think anybody's really gonna have any complaints about two years worth of a warranty, especially when I've seen a lot of things about things breaking within the first few months of use, or even after a year of use. So two years, I feel like that should be a relatively safe option, relatively safe uh, period of time to make sure that the unit works right and you can get any uh, defects taken care of. So in the end, this is definitely going to be a future buy for me. The next model that they develop is going to be the one that I'm going to get. Regardless, honestly, regardless of whether they iron out every single kink or not, because even at what half intensity or so, it's still very enjoyable for me. Once you experience this thing, once I, once I experience this thing, I should say, I'm not going to speak for everybody. Once I experienced this thing, I realized that I needed to have one in my life. So that's my two cents on this Subpack M2X. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there are going to be more videos like this in the future. So if you want, hit that like button, uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, this is Ultra Gigamite signing off.